This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this kind of a trippy looking typography animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. With that said, let's jump straight into the After Effects and get started. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition 1920 by 1080 30 FPS and let's keep this 20 seconds long. I'm going to call this render as a main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more new comp. This is going to be a text placeholder. So call this text. Hit OK. Then let's select the text tool and then you can of course type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in dope wipes. For the font, I'm using the integral font. I have mentioned the link in the description below. Let's align this into the center looking fine. Then let's go back to our main render comp, drag and drop in the text composition. Let's hit S and scale this down. So I'm going to set this to around 25 should be good. Yeah, that looks pretty fine. Let's go back into a text comp and uh, you can see I have a little bit of stroke going on on our text. So to add the stroke, you can just simply click on this. Uh, small icon that you see it's it should be off by default so all you have to do is click on that and then you can just simply add the black color to this so let's set this to eight pixels for now we can change that later on so now we have some nice line and stroke around our text now let's go back into our render comp there we have it let's add a really nice animation on this so hit r to bring down the rotation properties let's zoom a little bit into a timeline and I'm going to set this to minus or plus 20. Create a keyframe. Go to one second and oh, maybe let's go to one second, 10 frames. Set this to minus 20. And then let's move forward to two second and 20 frames and set this back to 20. So now we have these three keyframes. I'm going to hold alt and add a simple expression of loop. So let's type in loop out. Open and close parentheses. All right, so we have a looping animation just like that. So let's make this look a bit more interesting. I'm going to select the keyframes. You can hit F9 to easy ease them or go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Then jump into the graph editor and right click. Make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and also make sure to turn on the snap feature or the snap function. Let's place our indicator in the center of this curve. Select this and drag this like so. And I'm going to set the influence to around 74%. Let's set this one as well at 74%. Then go right here. Set this to 74. And this one to 74 as well. All right, so now let's preview our animation. And here we have something interesting. So once you understand the technique, you can create a number of different animation, but make sure that you create your animation before duplicating or before moving to the next step. So I'm going to keep the animation like such as of now looks good to me. And then I'm going to duplicate this. So hit control D hit S to bring down the scale property of the second one. And let's scale this to around 35. So we get something like this. Then I'm going to select this, go into effects and preset, search for tint effect, double click to add this and swap the color. So we have this really cool look. Then duplicate this, hit control D, scale this to around, let's go with 45. Then duplicate this again, let's set this to 55. Duplicate this again, hit control D, set this to 65 and so on. And finally, the last one at 175. So we have something like this, which looks quite weird at the moment. So let's make this look a bit more interesting. And the simple way to do this is let's select this, hit U so we can see all the keyframe. Let's make this space a bit bigger. And then I'm going to move every layer by three frames. So I can hit page down to move 
one frame forward two frame forward and three frame forward let's move this right here then one two three move this like that one two three and repeat the same process so there we go and now if i preview the animation let's see what we get cool right looks so damn awesome now let's select this layer hit ctrl a hit u to close them up and we can also change the layer of this color just so that we know this is the main text then right click go into layer styles and let's add a drop shadow and i'm going to increase this all the way up to 85 percent and set this to normal let's set the distance to zero and increase the size just like that and also play around a little bit with the spread to get a really nice look let's set this to 100 actually and i'm going to set this to 30. so we get a very interesting looking animation as you can see and you can anytime change the text and get a completely different look but i think it looks pretty cool you can also use different colors if you want to now let's add some rgb look to this so i'm going to select everything hit ctrl shift c to precompose it call this title now before i proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements design better projects faster with envato elements Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. Alright, go into effects and preset and search for shift channels. Double click to apply this. Set the green and blue to full off. And change the blending mode of this to screen. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select the second one, set the red to full off and turn on the green channel hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the third one set the green to full off and turn on the blue and then i'm going to just move them by around one frame like that and now we get a really interesting kind of a trippy looking animation also i can create a new adjustment layer call this uh, depth and go into effects and preset search for camera lens blur effect double click to apply this and let's increase this to around 20 select the ellipse tool and i'm gonna create an ellipse from the center by holding control at the same time so i'm gonna create something like this all right invert this hit f to bring down the feather property and let's set this to around 400 or maybe let's go with 300 something like that and now you can see we have a little bit more depth into our scene and it looks pretty damn cool also you can take this animation one step further by adding some secondary animation so i can jump back into my text comp let's go to around maybe two seconds select the text hit s create a keyframe let's go to three seconds and set this to around 60 let's go to four seconds and set this back to 100 then select the keyframe i can easy ease them go into the graph and let's add a similar graph animation so i'm gonna just move them like so so now we have something like this and if i go back now you can see we have a very cool secondary animation which is making our text look even more trippy so it looks pretty awesome i think so let's see what we get you can see pretty damn awesome so you can use this uh, technique in a number of different ways you can create your own animation you can create a completely different look and you know have fun playing around with this technique 
If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motion and if you're feeling generous, make sure to support us on Patreon as well. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.